Welcome to the very first episode of Terra Farmercraft. Uh, what I'm doing here is uh, actually playing the uh, Minecraft with the Terra Firmacraft mod. Um, but like Minecraft itself and Terra Firmacraft, food is really easy. All you have to do is just go around and kill one or two animals and cook up the meat and you're basically set for the next month if not the next year. So what I'm going to do here is I'm not allowed to uh, use any use food from animals. I can still use other byproducts like their skins and their bones and stuff like that. And in fact, I will need to in order to progress. But no food from animals. So it all has to be from plants. Um, and the further restriction, just to make it a little bit more difficult, is I can't use seeds that I gain by uh, um, by cutting down grass. So if I cut down grass and get seeds, I got to throw that away. So that means I got to go for crops, and that should hopefully encourage me to do a little bit more world exploration and uh, maybe uh, maybe get me to lose a few pounds while I'm at it. So okay, so as you can see here, uh, I'm, the world name is Terra Firmcraft Survival Mode. If we look at the other world options I've got here, generate structures doesn't matter. Um, I've got cheats on just in case I have to make some corrections to things that go wrong while I'm doing the recording, but in general I won't be using the cheats. Um, I've blanked out the seed up here. That's just so that no one loads up the uh, uh, loads up the same seed on their system and then reveals things about the world that I don't that I shouldn't know yet. So, you know, you know, all two of my viewers. Okay, and I guess that's it. The only other mod that I'm playing with here is Raise Minimap because I get lost a lot. I get lost really easily both in real life, but particularly in Minecraft. Now in Terra Firmcraft, you'd think it would be better. And, and, and it is a little bit better in Terra Firmcraft because the, uh, the terrain is a little more unique, a little more recognizable, I find, in Terra Firmcraft than in vanilla Minecraft. But I still get lost quite easily, get turned around. There we go. Um, so there's Ray's mini-map up in the corner. And just have a quick look here. Uh, oh, I thought, oh, I thought I could look at mods here, but I can't. Okay, fine. All right. Well, we got some pigs here. Um, if you're not familiar with Terra Firma Craft, I'll explain a few things going along, but this isn't, uh, this isn't intended to be a tutorial. That's a male. You can tell by the tusks. Those are both males. No females, huh? Uh, these things on the ground are stones. Oops. And I immediately get an ore, which is spell right. So just let me quickly mark that here. Put in a waypoint for that. Uh, Svalorite gives you, uh, what is it, zinc. Um, if you've played older versions of uh, Terra Firma Craft, you could make your early tools out of zinc or bismuth or tin, but you can't do that anymore. Those are now only used for making alloys like uh, more advanced bronzes, more advanced steels, things like that. So you're, the first metal you're going to start off with in this game is uh, copper. But before we can get to that, we've got to uh, get through our Stone Age and our Ceramic Age. And I guess really the Wood Age. So let's get some sticks. Terra Verncraft, you get those by whacking at branches of trees. Sometimes we'll get saplings too. Uh, we're going to need more sticks than that. Uh, let's get a few more. Oh yeah, and as you may have seen when I uh, was in the options page, I'm playing this on normal. I'm not that big of a fan of the uh, combat system in Minecraft, so I usually play on peaceful. But the nice thing about having at least some mobs around is that it forces me to build proper shelter and things like that. So, so I've got that in there, and who knows, maybe I'll die a couple of times. And then that'll be entertaining for you guys. But it does mean that one of the first things we're going to have to do is do something about shelter. Uh, so let's build ourselves something. So... We're in the Stone Age here. If we right-click with a with tour with a stack of rocks, then we can uh, start napping out things. And I'm going to nap out first a stone axe head. 
Uh, I'll probably need a shovel head at some point to dig my hobbit hole. And what else do I need right off? Oh, a knife. And a knife. Okay, and let's uh, add handles to these things to make them into real tools. There we go. The knife. Oh, let's put him here. We don't really care about that. The axe, and we can't use this celery for a really long time. Let's keep those sticks, though. Whoops. Okay. Um, let's start chopping down some wood. What's good here? Ash. Ash will be good for us here. Should chop down relatively easy. Of course, this is a stone axe, so it's... <laughs> Nothing is easy for a stone axe, but... That's all we've got at the moment. Yeah, as I was saying with the uh, combat system in Minecraft, I mean, it's not it's not particularly interesting, right? I mean, you just whack away at the zombies and skeletons and whatever until you kill them. So, for as a combat game, it's not very good. It's a great sandbox game, and it's uh, well, it's particularly with Terra Firma Craft, it's a it's a really good um, survival kind of simulation game. I mean, I guess as a simulation, it's not that great, but as a playing playing around game for survival, it's pretty good. I I'm, I've mostly just been playing Terra Firma Craft for the past ooh, year and a half now, so. But the only time I play vanilla Minecraft is just every now and then to load up the new uh, the new snapshots to see see what the new features are. Oh, I guess I should mark my spawn point around here too. Yeah, somewhere around here. This will be close enough. Okay, so we've got some water down here. Water. Ooh. Oh. Ho oh, ho. Peat. Peat is going to be handy. Ah, lots of nice peat. Let's grab some of that. I think that sound is up just a bit too high, so let's turn down a bit. There we go. That's better. Yeah, so you can use... Peat will burn. It doesn't burn really, really hot, but it's okay in terms of the temperature. Like the different woods and terra firma crab burn at different temperatures. Um, but it does burn for a fairly long time. And the other nice thing is that you know you can you can just dig up a ton of it with a shovel, as opposed to spending forever trying to hack down trees. So as an early fuel, it's pretty hard to beat peat, and it rhymes. I just have to say that to a beat. What was that? Oh, it's just slate. Okay, so all this rock I'm picking up here is slate, which isn't particularly interesting, but... Um, here we have some water. Uh, I like saying water is really important because if you look, if you're not familiar with Terra Firma Craft, uh, just above my hot bar, that's bring. So down here, you can see I've got the two bars here. I'll show them better in a minute. Uh, the top one is my hunger bar, and the bottom one, well, the top one is my food bar, and the bottom one is my water bar, or thirst bar. So, um, so the you know, as I get hungry, the green, the green bar goes down. As I get thirsty, the uh, blue bar goes down. The more you exert yourself, the faster. I don't. I think the food bar goes down faster when you exert yourself, but certainly the thirst goes down a lot faster when you exert yourself. And just reflecting reality, as it were, is just in general your thirst. You you know you can go a lot longer without food than you can without water. Okay, so my, you can see my thirst is already down a fair bit, and the red one on the left is my health. Okay, so I was saying before we're going to need crops because I'm not allowed to do anything else. And the other thing, just so many things to start off with here, because you got to move pretty quickly day one. Um, if you cut this grass with a, with a knife or a scythe, you get straw. And straw is important because we can use it to make blocks of thatch. 
Uh, unlike vanilla Minecraft, in, uh, in Terra Firma Craft, dirt blocks obey gravity. So if you try and use them as a roof for your first night hovel, you're going to be in for a bit of an unpleasant surprise. In fact, with dirt, you can't even stack it up very, very well because it tends to slump down into a conical shape. I'll show you that in a bit. Okay. Uh, I have to throw that uh, seed away. Cabbage. Yeah. Cabbage takes a long time to grow anyway. Who wants it? Okay. Ooh, oats. That'll be handy in the long run. It's not going to feed me very much at all in the short run. Oh, this is nice here. Uh, these flowers here are goldenrod. And wherever you see them growing, it means there is clay. And clay is going to be essential for us. Because since we don't have any steel, we're going to be using a lot of... We're going to be using ceramics heavily. Which means we got to... Oops. Need another shovel. Ah, just ruined my shovel. There we go. Okay. Let's dig up a bit more of this stuff and what's the time like? Aye, it's the end of the day. I gotta get. I can't afford to dig up anything else. I gotta get a move on here. Um, uh, I've got lots of wood, so we're gonna have to go with a. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to go with the wood house for the first night. Come on, come on. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of leg problems with uh, Terra Firma Craft. I could use at least dirt, dirt for the bottom layer at least. It's always a problem when you're doing a let's play like this in Minecraft. Because there's all the stuff you need to say at the start. But you also have to get yourself set up before the bad guys come. Okay. Out so people can't climb on them. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, the logs don't obey gravity either. And this is what I was saying: is if you take four straw of these straw, then you can build thatch blocks. Okay. Let's see if I can get a fire started in here and give us a little, make some torches and then you'll be able to see what the heck I'm doing here. In fact, maybe I'll be able to see what I'm doing in here. Actually, let's take this bottom one out here. There we go. Okay. So I can start a fire pit by throwing three sticks on the ground. Oops, forgot to do this. And then two sticks can make a fire starter. Rubbing two sticks together. There we go. And I have a couple of sticks left. And I can use to make torches. Okay. We have a torch. Um, what else do we want to do while we're here? start making at least some of the uh, clay forms we're going to need later on, but we can't really uh, do anything with them. We haven't got enough materials yet to bake them up, so. Um, when you go into the clay, like when you click with a stack of at least five clay, it takes five clay to make each mold, uh, you get into the, the clay forming interface. And one of the 
key things we're going to need are these these vessels. So I'm going to make myself uh, at least one of those clay vessels. Um, I'm going to need a water jug. So I can carry some water around with me. And since these things break a lot, let's... Well, vessels are just useful regardless, so... And I'll make myself a second water jug, just in case the first one decides to go kablooey on me. Okay. <coughs> and, oh, we still got a long night to wait through. So, um, I'll... Well, this will give me time to talk about a few, explain a few of the things for those of you not familiar with Terra Firmacraft or who haven't worked with the newest version. Um, so let's look at ceramics. So clay, uh, your clay thing, your clay items you can make, as I just showed you there, why, uh, by working on a stack of clay, but you can't use them for anything. They first have to be fired into the ceramic versions. And the way you do that is you dig a, a pit you create what's called a pit kiln and you fill it up with and you put your stuff at the bottom fill it up with straw throw some a stack of logs on top and set it all on fire and about eight hours later then you have the ceramic version so i'll show you that right now i don't have enough straw for it and i don't have enough logs either um if you're not familiar at all with terra firmograph with logs if you shift click them down you can start a log pile and log pile will hold up to 16 logs and you can just take them out by right-clicking on it and take them out. Um, that'll come into play later because the when we put the logs on top of the pit kiln, we have to put a full log pile on there. So it uses up a lot of straw and it uses up a lot of wood. Oh, this guy here, just to show you, whoops, is as you can see, I can put peat in here into this uh, fire pit and it'll, I can use it to cook things. Now you can't cook this stuff. Uh, it's just the fire pit doesn't get hot enough to fire ceramics into clay. And in fact, I have nothing here that can be cooked. I mean, I could actually, I can cook this sphalerite and it'll warm up and melt. And since I don't have any, uh, any molds to catch it in, I'll lose the zinc. So there's no point in having that. A flower. Okay, well, I can plant the flower outside my hovel here. There. I've added the first touch of home decoration. Um, I guess I can start on the uh, start on the fire pit. Just get ready for that. Show you how that. Show you at least how the first part of that works. And so again, you, you right-click these things, and they'll set down. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant to show you. Um, with both clay items and the fired ceramic items, you can place them on the ground by shift clicking. And so four items can go on a block. One on one on, can sit on each corner of a block. Okay, and they won't despawn there; they'll just stay there forever. So that's a that's a way of storing things. You don't have to put them inside a chest or anything like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, so you'll especially in the early game when you don't have any metals and you need metals to get to uh, make most of your wooden items as i'll show you in a bit um you'll end up with like your floor just covered in this stuff floating in the air so anyway so you place them at the bottom of a pit like that and then you'll take the uh, the straw and place it on top but i don't have enough now to do it so what do we have here oh we're getting there what else can i show you oh um so there's this oat here that I picked up, like I can't eat it, like it's just, see, I'm pressing the right mouse button and it just won't let me eat it. Now what I can do is if I take a knife and cut it up, oh that's right, I get more straw, sorry. Yeah, so when you process the oat with a knife, you get the grain off of it. Well, I still can't eat the grain. Oh yes, I can. Well, that is that new or did I just never try it? See how much, how little, <laughs> so you can't eat the grain, but you get a tiny, tiny amount back from it. So, but anyway, so I'll, the grain is better used later on when we grind it up into flour, but we can't do it right now. Um, the stalks become more straw. So actually I can show you now putting the straw on the bottom. So you need 15 straw on the bottom of your pit kiln. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now all we need is a stack of logs. And we can't quite do that yet, but I can s at least start the stack. So I need 12 more logs to fill that up, and then we can start it. Um, I'm not sure. No, I don't think it needs to <coughs> have a path to the air. How are we doing? Um, what else can we do here? Uh, we should probably get ourselves another knife, because this one's about to run out. A knife can also be used as a weapon. Although, if you find yourself fighting with it at this stage in the game, you're probably dead. In fact, it doesn't matter what kind of weapon you have. If you find yourself fighting with it at this stage of the game, you're probably dead. Axe is actually a pretty darn good weapon. You can see the axe's attack value is as good as the, uh, as the knife. Um, actually, we're going to need another axe, too, so let's do that. ourselves an axe. Uh, it should cool down by now. Bunch of straw, get rid of that. Oh, did it just change? Oh yeah, and that's the other thing I want to do is with our last stick we're gonna make a hole because since we are depending on plants and this is called Terra Farmercraft. We're going to start doing some farming pretty fast. Uh, we got to get some crops in the ground. These aren't the ideal crops for us to start with, but it's all I've got at the moment, so might as well get ready for it. Um, now this oat grain, uh, you saw I could just eat it as is. Um, it can also be ground up into flour, but the other thing you can do with it, um, you can convert, each oat grain will convert directly into uh, some oat seeds. So that will be some seeds that we can use to start our farm. And let's hope that nothing is out here waiting to kill us. No. Okay. So we need... F There's no water over here, right? Uh, actually, there is. So where do I want to set up shop? Bit open space here, faces the ocean. Not a lot of flat area though. Yeah, same thing here. What about that lake I saw earlier? How's that work out? Yeah, so there are two kinds of legs you'll be seeing as I play this game. One is when new chunks load, there can be some big hangs, and then you'll see it's taking stuff a long time rendering distance. That's basically just Terra Fernicraft's world gen. Uh, it just does a lot of stuff that the normal Minecraft doesn't do, and so it really uh, gets hung up on... Oh, this is better here. There's a lot more room. It really gets hung up on Minecraft's uh, world gen algorithms. They're not really optimized for the way that... Uh, Terraformcraft works. The other one you'll see is you'll see some short jerks. Like when I was walking along there, just you know, every couple of, every second or two, there's these little jerks. And those, alas, are because of the video uh, capture that I'm using. I have a humongously powerful computer here, which is unfortunately yoked to a really wimpy video card. Actually, I shouldn't say that. It's actually a pretty powerful video card, but the readback from video memory is very slow because it's not designed for that. And since that's how you get... <coughs> that's how you capture video frames is by reading the video memory. It means that we're kind of slow doing the captures. Okay. Uh, where's that hole? There we go. There, our first crop is in. And if we don't find more, we're going to die. Okay, let's mark this as home here. Just 
so we don't lose it. Here we go. And that's our, oh, we have more clay here. Excellent. Okay, crops. Uh, so where's my spawn? Spawn was over there, so we haven't been in this direction yet. Uh, it's just uh, it's just sugar cane there. More piggies there. Oh, those look like crops up there. Okay. But I think they're going to be greens again, which isn't going to feed us right now. Nice in the long run, but not so hot in the short. Ooh, clay snow or silt snow. Yeah, more green. Was it oats? Oh, is it oats or rye? Oh, more oats. Uh, okay, well. Yeah. Hmm. Show me something red or something orange. Those are things I can eat. Oh, except for that red flower, of course. Oh, there. Yeah, there's a long one of those longer legs while the world gen happens. Okay. Really? Nothing? Man. Well, this could be a short series if I starved to death. Uh, I still got about three days before it becomes, well, another two days, I guess, before hunger starts becoming critical. Have a look. Oh, is not finished loading yet? Yeah, they're working on a new version of uh, Terra Firmacraft where they're changing the world gen a lot. So it's possible it'll get faster, but that's not really the emphasis of the changes. The emphasis are to give the... Uh, uh, just to give a little more, I think... Uh, complexity and sophistication to the way the rock layers intermingle underground. What's the time here? 11, so we still got time. Yeah. Hmm. Not finding anything. It does tend to go like that. You'll have, you'll play one seed where you find lots and lots and lots of crops, more than you can possibly eat, and then you'll get another one where things are a bit more dire. Kind of like the peak over here. See if we see anything. Uh, more goldenrod. More sugar. Ah, here's something we can use. This is going to be either onions or garlic. Hopefully onions. Yes! Onions. Ah, oh, great. That's excellent because those are the fastest growing crop. Is there really only one? Usually they come in groups. Let's see if there's some hiding over here. Looks like that was it. Okay. Mm, check the time again. Yeah, getting getting on, but still got some time to have a peak. Oh, what's this? Marble, oh, that'll be handy. There's a set of stones known as flux stones, and uh, uh, basically they can be ground up into um, a flux, which is a powder that, you know, when you mix it with water, it's uh, it's basic as opposed to acidic, and so you can use it for things like tanning when you're doing well doing leather making, or it's sort of not really the tanning, but as part of the leather making process. And they're also essential in uh, 
in metal working to keep the oxides to uh, keep the oxides off metal when you're trying to like weld two ingots together and things like that. We'll get into all that later. We're a long way from metal working yet. But it's nice to know we have a ready supply of uh, flex stone around here. That's cool. Okay. Oh, and I need to chop down a few more trees if I want to uh, be able to fire up my... Uh, this is the wrong kind of tree. This is the right kind of tree. If I want to be able to fire that pit. Okay. So we need we need 12 more, so I got five there. How I will long to have a copper axe. Ah, there we go. That's enough. But I still have time, so let's grab some more. Unsurprisingly, you go th end up going through a lot of wood in this game. Um, yeah, you'll find that uh, there's uh, lots of stuff that you normally can do in Minecraft that you can't do here at the early stages. For example, you can't build a uh, crafting table. Um, to make planks out of wood, you need a saw. A saw requires metal. We don't have any metal yet. And that also means you can't make a bed. So we cannot sleep the nights away until we have acquired some metal. Okay, this is getting 14, 1600, yeah. Uh, where's home? See, I'm already lost. That's why we have raised mini map. Now, it might have been amusing to watch me stumble around the first couple of times being lost. But uh, after, you know, the third or fourth time, I think it would start to pall a bit. So we'll use the mini map to keep ourselves oriented. Oh, and let's pick up a bit more straw. So we can do another kiln fire. Oops, I'm still 160 meters from home. Better get a move on. Yep. Feet. Feet do your stuff. Where'd my home go? There it is. See? Got lost again. Move, don't move more than 20 meters and I get lost. Oh, except I haven't built a home there yet. Oh god, I gotta get back to the... Uh, <laughs> I gotta get back to wherever that shack was. Oh, I don't even know where that is. Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, let's quickly get that in place. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now we have our 16. Oh god, I have no sticks. I have no sticks. How can I have no sticks? This is ridiculous. Oh. There's always something. Always something to do. Uh-oh. Don't like that sound. Well, two. That's the number I need, so I'll have to do. Okay. Take our two sticks, create a new fire starter, and hopefully we'll be able to light this thing. There we go. First try. Whew. And that's going to run for eight hours. Everything takes a long time. So, 27 hours, 3 a.m. 3 a.m. that'll be ready. In the meantime, let's repair a few of our tools. Do item repair on them. Bring them up a little bit higher. And we can process more oats. 
I guess I could go, yeah, I guess I could plant more oat seed. That's an idea. Oh, yeah, I do definitely want to plant the onion, that's for sure. Okay, uh, where am I here? Knife. Oh, I just got the one more. Okay. And for the onions. Uh, the onions. Well, we're going to turn two of them into seeds, and we're going to keep one for eating. That is not going to keep us fed very long, so we're going to be hunting for more stuff. Now, there's not m a lot much more I can do tonight, so what I'll do is I'll probably just, uh, just cut out here and bring you back in. Well, if anything interesting happens, but the mobs can't break in, so probably nothing there. Other than that, I'll bring you back in when the uh, when the pit kiln is done, and we can look at our fired uh, ceramic objects. See you then.